Langenbutter in, cutting to the slot. Backhand shot, he scores! Always a formidable presence on the ice, Jamie Langenbrunner was the 1993 AP Minnesota Hockey Player of the Year. Following that junior season, Langenbrunner was drafted 35th overall by the Dallas Stars. The right winger made his NHL debut two years later. With Jamie, I think he just saw a lot of potential, a lot of upside, a lot of energy, great skater. He adapted pretty quick, and there really was no major hiccups on his development and everything. It was just kind of zero to 100 right away. Deep in the heart of Texas, the stars are shining. In 1999, Jamie Langenbrunner etched his name in hockey history when he helped lead the stars to their first cup win in Dallas, coming up clutch with 10 goals and 17 total points. He was solid throughout the playoffs, very reliable for us, and consistent throughout the two months of playoffs. Traded to the New Jersey Devils in 2002, Langenbrunner found himself in the race for the Cup again in 2003. He led the Devils that postseason with 11 goals, adding another championship to his resume. I remember watching Jamie, and I used to just like his attitude and the way he kind of played. He always played hard and seemed to be in the middle of everything. I knew as a defenseman, I knew how tough he was to play against. I knew he was a guy that there was just no shifts off. So I was excited to add him to our mix. I was thrilled to have him as a teammate. He had experience behind him. He, would, he wanted to win. and. Uh, you know, he had some unbelievable and big goals for us. How about Jamie Langenbrunner? Wow, he is just too much in this playoff year. Obviously, we accomplished the best thing that you can in the NHL, and we always have a bond together. Throughout the 18 seasons of professional play, Langenbrunner minted 243 goals, 420 assists, in 1,109 career games played. He served as the captain of the Devils from 2007 to 2011. He was a leader. He was a player that could have played any, any kind of situations, honestly. Could have played on first line, second line, third line. He made all the right decisions, wasn't afraid of any area of the ice, and uh, it was very easy to play with him. I liked playing with him a lot more than playing against him because he was a pest out there. He was a guy that could get under your skin, and he did it with skill. Langenbrunner played one more season with the Stars and two with the St. Louis Blues before retiring in 2013. During his career, he also suited up in the red, white, and blue for Team USA, including twice in the World Juniors in 94 and 95 and a World Cup of Hockey in 2004. I was very impressed with Jamie's style of play. His competitiveness just is all around game to the point that when we did have some selections, which I had the good fortune to work with the Olympic team, Jamie was certainly one of the prime candidates. A two-time Olympian, Langenbrunner played for the Stars and Stripes at the 1998 Games in Nagano and served as captain of the 2010 team that earned a silver medal in Vancouver. His veteran presence and the leadership and experience he had at that time uh, was crucial to our team. We had to play a certain way in that tournament to be effective, and he was one of the guys who really set that tone. When the stakes are raised, whether it's playoffs, whether it's international competition, you know what you're getting from Jamie Langenbrunner, and that's a coach's dream. You know he's going to make a big play, score a big goal, get in those dirty areas around the net because he was a competitor, because he was a physical player and, and strong around the net with good hands. And so he was going to be that guy that when you need that little extra, of course, he's going to bring that. And that's what he brought to Team USA for sure. After Langenbrunner's on-ice career, he joined the Boston Bruins front office in 2015 as the team's player development coach and in 2022 was named assistant general manager. He just dove in to do anything and everything anybody asked of him, fully integrating himself into you know an organization and decision-making process and doing it without ego. For an accomplished guy that he is as a player, he's incredibly humble, family-driven, a really, really hard worker. And those are the things you value as an organization. I think the Boston Bruins are fortunate to have him. He's a guy that a lot of players, teammates respected, and that's a great compliment. He scored big goals, made big plays, competed as hard as, uh, as any teammate I've really had. And that's the highest compliment I can give a guy. And now, joining the list of immortals who have left an indelible mark on the game of hockey in the United States, please welcome Jamie Langenbrunner to the United States Hockey Hall of Fame.